welcome back to the Burke Boilermaker Golf Center on the campus of Purdue University. A special treat for us in Swing Clinic today. Oh, yeah. This is an awesome place. I'm happy to be here. The facility is amazing. You know, we got to experience the golf courses. They were off the charts. Two Pete Perfect. Dye golf they courses. They were really great. Uh, it, it was really good. You know, making your way through the Pete Dye Trail, this is one of the places that you get to mm -hmm. and uh, a good place to come and great place to practice before you go out and play, right? Absolutely. Speaking of practice, we're going to work on wind. You know, there's not a lot of trees kind of flat in Indiana, even though mm -hmm. we've got some movement on these golf courses. So a lot of wind when you play golf here. We're pretty fortunate today. You can see the flags. They're going a little bit, but nothing crazy. So there's two things, Holly, that really you have to think about when you're playing into the wind. Number one is trajectory. How low can I hit the ball to cut through that wind and be able to get it to where we want to get it to? Number two is actually spin, you know, and how much we spin the golf ball. I think most people, when they want to hit good shots into the wind, they move the ball way back in their stands, mm -hmm. they get too steep on it, and they feel like they hit it solid and shoot straight up in the air because of so much spin. So I'm going to show you a couple things today that I think that will help you with your trajectory and your spin. Number one is trajectory. If we're going to hit a low shot into the wind right here, I don't want Holly to hit the ball high. Focus, again, I seem to go back to that with my partner here a little bit, focus. <laughs> it's one of so my weak points, yeah. I like to have little things when I'm teaching golf to help people focus on the little things mm -hmm. instead of the big things. If Holly's just looking at it out there and saying, hey, I want to keep it kind of below that tree or below that flag, that's not, that's a big focus piece right here. Now we're gonna have a little focus thing right here. We've kind of worked on in the past, something in front of you to be able to aim at. Now we're gonna, you know, think about something in front of us when we practice to be able to do that. So I'm gonna make it, not gonna make it too tough on Holly. We're gonna move it right okay. here. I'm gonna have her set up. We're gonna go into the wind first. So right now we go into the wind. I want Holly to set up with the ball in the middle of her stance. I don't want it back because I don't want to get too steep, but I'm okay with her leaning a little bit on her left side. There you go. Now that'll get our center forward and help, help us keep Keep our trajectory down. So when she takes the club back, go ahead and take it back. She's still going to stay a little more on her left side. So continue to go to the top. She's not going to shift her weight too much into her front side. She's going to stay on her left side. That's going to keep her center ahead and that's going to help her with her trajectory. Second thing, and this is the crazy thing right here. Let's say we're hitting a 145, 50 yard shot. You typically hit what? Seven iron? Yeah. Seven iron. Okay. So what I want Holly to do is we're going to go down to a six iron but we're gonna choke down on this club a half of an inch. I don't know if you probably know this all your years yep. working with Golf Channel is that every club is a half inch shorter as you go down. So we're gonna choke down that six iron to seven iron length because that's how far Unless we wanna Unless you're Bryson. Unless you're Bryson, yeah, that doesn't count. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good pickup there. So what we want, I mean, that was good. So what we want is we want her to choke down half of an inch. Mm -hmm. We want her to lean forward a little bit. Now I don't want her to hit this hard, Holly. I don't want a okay. hard golf swing because that's gonna cause spin. We wanna shallow the golf swing out, take a normal golf swing. It's gonna keep it down in a win, but we're gonna stay below this right here. So okay. see, show them how we wanna do that, Holly. So good, set up. Yep, normal golf swing, don't hit it hard, but lean forward. Good, good. That was actually the divot hit that hit that, not that. The Completely ball went right below the there. Grip. Yeah, and it was and and it nice. And nice contact. Nice, and you stayed ahead. You stayed nice forward contact. on that right there, which is really important. So again, she controlled her trajectory right here by staying forward, not swinging too hard, keeping that ball in the middle, so it was absolutely perfect. It was perfect. great. Yeah, so now let's go with, we wanna ride the wind right here. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take a ball, we're gonna put it right here for Holly. We're gonna set up to it. Now she wants to hit one, we're downwind right now. You wanna let it yeah. ride the wind a little bit. So now we wanna create a little spin. So I'm okay with swinging, you know, Harder. good speed, grip. okay? You can grip the club at the end, like you normally would. Mm -hmm. We're in the same spot, we wanna get it up over top of that. We're gonna keep the ball position center or maybe a little bit forward. Okay. For her now though, we can lean a little bit this way because we wanna hit the ball higher in the air when we get to this position. So we're gonna lean a little bit this way, good. Let her make her big turn. You know, as you go ahead down through, go ahead down through. Let's stay, make sure we stay behind this golf ball yep. because we're trying to create a little bit of, you know, obviously a uh, height into this mm -hmm. shot and let it fly. Okay. So same motion, swing a little harder, lift. Go from here to yep. here. Good. All right. Perfect. That trajectory on that golf ball changed 15, 20 yards, Woo. right? All right, Wait so that's moment. it. Playing into the wind, you just change your trajectory, move your body a little bit, and maybe choke down on the club, but it's that simple, and it will make such a difference. All right, 